I'm John Fox. I came to the University of Rochester two years ago from New York City to direct the Del Monte Neuroscience Institute because the University of Rochester is a national powerhouse in the neurosciences. Major mental illness and neurological disorders have a massive impact on society and the economy. It takes people out of the workforce. It costs a lot of money to treat folks. Take Alzheimer's disease. Today, there are 10 million individuals in the US suffering from a dementia. By 2050, that number will be in the 35 million range. And the cost to the American economy will be $1.1 trillion. So we need to understand the brain and we need to understand these neurological disorders. We founded the Del Monte Institute at the University of Rochester Medical Center to break out of the traditional models. You can bring engineers together with the chemists, together with the biologists and the neuroscientists to attack a problem in a concerted way. When we're talking about autism spectrum disorder, a really key component, one of the things we know for sure is that early intervention makes a huge difference. And the earlier that intervention occurs, the better the situation is going to be. The average age of first diagnosis for a child on the autism spectrum in the United States today is almost five years of age. So from my perspective, that's a tragedy. We've missed this huge window, this huge opportunity to make a profound difference in that child's life. Changing lives is what we're about. And what we do at the University of Rochester and at the Del Monte Institute is we map the brain trajectory of these children using electrophysiology and imaging by identifying them early while their brain is still really plastic and by bringing resources to bear to really provide intensive early intervention we can make a difference right at the right time. The point here is that when a child is born into a family with one of these devastating neurodevelopmental diseases it has a massive impact. The child suffers, the parents suffer, the siblings suffer Parents stay home from work. Parents get out of the workforce. We are miles and miles away from real good answers for most of the major mental illnesses that afflict people. Over the last 18 months, we've hired 10 new neuroscientists and our intention is over the next 12 months to hire another six. And we've been bringing in experts from all over the world to add to the already extraordinary talent pool that we have at the University of Rochester. You really need to throw the book at these diseases and we need to do it big time. We really need to go for it. And we need teams bringing concerted action on these really wicked problems, the wicked problems of science, these neurological diseases, because the stakes are really high here. Thank you, University of Rochester.